sweet and as spicy as memes. I'm Rose Roberto. And I'm AJ Fry. Producer Tyler has two <laughs> minutes on the board and topics at the bottom of your screen for us. And uh, one of us may get out of line. Uh, so the other will hit this button right here, which can activate, well, I guess deactivate our microphones. That's right. So we it are shuts muted. Us up. Shouldn't the show be called Muted, not it, Unmuted? Ty you know what, Tyler, this is your fault. It's yeah. all your fault, Tyler. Listen, of course, we love it when Chad calls us out, so don't be shy. We can take it. Let's get to our first one here. We're going to kick off our top story with an update to a story that we talked about last week. Mm. Last week, it was actually reported that employees at Riot Games would be staging a walkout this week because of the company's response to its sexual harassment and discrimination claims. Riot released a 90-day timetable on its diversity and inclusion initiatives and said that it will stop enforcing arbitration on new employees. However, no mention was made of changing senior leadership's attitude, which has been cited as being one of the main factors behind Riot's poor culture. So, AJ, uh, Lisa and I discussed this last week. I also discussed it with Brody. So I need to ask you, do you feel like Riot's doing the right thing now? Um, and maybe should Riot be doing more? Well, they are starting to do some mm. of the right things. But yeah, if you've got a problem with your leadership yeah. uh, setting the tone, yeah, the tone needs to be set very differently, yeah. and I mean, this isn't just exclusive to Riot. This is a problem that uh, prevails throughout the entire gaming culture. Yeah. It's certainly worse in certain sectors than it is in others, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, it's amazing coming to a place like Squad here, where it's yeah. a whole bunch of amazing women behind the scenes, uh, holding it down, working super hard, and uh, there's there's none of this toxic masculinity that you see so that's much true. in the game space in other places here, and that's why I keep coming back. It's a great Aww. place to work that reminds me so much of the other professional places that I've uh, had the uh, opportunity to work in my career. So right. yeah, hopefully uh, you know the the boys of the gaming culture can get their heads out of their behinds I mean, and uh, uh, start making uh, things a little bit nicer for our uh, women friends. Women for sure. I mean, listen, it definitely is a two way street. We can't like I feel like I shouldn't get away with certain things that I say either because I'm a woman, so technically I kind of get away with them. You know, Even if we're I also to entertainers like a, and we yeah. try to make things light and make jokes sometimes, yeah. and then you can go like, oh yeah, that joke I made, yeah, maybe that was off color, that was, you know, <laughs> not necessarily espousing the most right, uh, right morals or ethics, what have you. If it's all about ethics and gaming, then we've got to set a high bar. That's a thing too, and we also, you know, it's just kind of this insidious culture that we live in, especially if you just even look in Twitch chat some of the time. Times, right? Yeah. Like, there's just a lot of derogatory comments made, a lot of racism that happens too. We need to clean oh, yeah. up everywhere. It's not just with Riot, but I'm happy that certain steps are being taken. Uh, it's unfortunate, yeah, that maybe the older gentlemen that are still there, seemingly that's what everyone's having a problem with. I know that they went to. You called them older gentlemen. Older gentlemen. They don't sound like they I don't. Are. I, and that's the thing, because I don't know them, right? Yeah. I don't know them, we don't know them, we don't know exactly what it's like there. This is all just speculation based off of the reports that have been coming out. So mm. I just really hope for a healthier environment for all of them. Agreed. Women, women, of course, but yes, also men too. It's, it is a two-way street, and we if just all just respect each other. Add report buttons to your games. Can't you put a report button in your... Inside your co company? Community? In no. your company, something. All right, <laughs> moving on. Complexity Gaming unveiled a brand new look over the weekend, courtesy of a massive rebrand. Gone is the red and white swirl. Mm. Say hello to a navy blue star. The Texas based esports org has shifted its look to be more in line with the NFL team, the Dallas Cowboys, as both teams are owned by Jerry Jones. Mm -hmm. So the question oh, Jerry is Jerry Jones, another seedy character. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Little, little, little Jerry report Jones. coming out on Jerry Jones. No, you know how they, they always find these, like, uh, you know, it's like drama. It's just, it's it's like Dallas. It's like, you know, right. finding out there's other relationships and they're going to like special massage parlors and like, yeah, oh. there's, like, there's like, there there are things. But you can there still are own things, things out there. Okay. You can still own things. That's the thing. When you're rich, you get away with a lot of stuff. That's been proven yeah, yeah. over and over and over again. So, yes. To your question, which had nothing to do with anything. Did I even finish getting it out there? Yeah, no, not really. <laughs> I do want to talk about this because I, I do like that the sports teams and the owners of these sports teams are now implementing these. Well, I guess it's very similar yeah. to the Dallas Stars logo. It's got logo. an arrow in it, though, and that's... Yeah, sorry, it's the Cowboys logo. That's eSports. eSports have arrows. They lead you to the <laughs> points that you have to capture. Oh, yeah, it is. And a little, a little yeah. arrow in there. Yeah. A little arrowhead. A little, little Call of Duty-esque. Uh, no, uh, listen, I like these. I like it a lot. I feel like they all should tie in with the sports team because that's what we're going to get outsiders into eSports. This is how we legitimize eSports. It's just about getting the... Listen, sports, sports, yes, I get it. It's a separate thing, but it's still important that everybody puts respect 
on esports. You can only put respect on it when you attach it to things that already have that respect. You feel? That's not true. You what? Can't, you can't only put respect on it when you attach it to other things. You no, can it's just generate it helps. your own. It helps. I'll agree with you there. Okay. I don't gotta mute you over this <laughs> just yet, Marissa. But uh, okay, fine, they can, fair they can enough. Hold but ground on their own. You don't like this. You don't like sports don't, teams attaching their logos. Uh, like I, I don't care enough to like it or dislike it. I just don't think that it's got to be the way uh, to do it all the time. Mm. I think if you want to have some brand synergy, sure, that looks cool enough. But, but don't you think it'll maybe ha help sports fans to come on board and maybe watch a game look, or two? If, if there was a uh, an esports team uh, attached to the Toronto Maple Leafs, you should not at all go anywhere near the Maple Leafs branding for these things because Maple Leafs <sighs> branding is just uh, like related to a team that fails every year. Oh, as oh I, my God, AJ! And the Blue Jays since what, like okay. the 90s? That's that's a quiet time for AJ now. Amateur tournament platform Super League Gaming announced that it was partnering with Capcom to create a brand new league for Street Fighter V called the Street Fighter League Super Gaming League. Will host competitions in cities throughout North America that anyone can enter. The league will not be open to professional players as it's meant to foster competition at a grassroots level. So, AJ. I don't even know if you're on unity yet, so I might just answer this for you. Do you think this kind of initiative focusing on amateurs can actually help grow Street Fighter, or do you think maybe it's a waste of time? You actually are officially unmuted. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, certainly, this isn't a waste of time. This is a good thing. Why not? You know, oh. grow, grow your community, grow your fan base. The interesting thing, though, is that this is not being open to pros. Is mm. like, where, what makes that marker? Is yeah. it the moment when someone pays you to play a game? Is it when you've got a sponsorship? Is it when you win a tournament that you're considered a pro? Mm -hmm. Like, what is that official? You know, yeah. pole that people have to climb over yeah, to make it. Because, like, if you say. enter this and you win it one year, mm -hmm. can you go back the next year and enter yeah. it again, or are you disqualified because now you're a pro? You've won the tournament. This mm -hmm. is. These are the questions we need answers for. Uh, rabble, rabble, rabble. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting because I do know a lot of Street Fighter players in Toronto that are very good and have played in tournaments, but haven't yet had an org sponsor them. So yeah. are they professionals yet if they don't have an org backing, right? Like, are they, if they have they been legitimized yet mm. if without that? It's like, you know, on their social I, platforms. Are you legitimate if you have a check mark? I don't know. But other people have check marks that shouldn't be legitimate. I'm just a little salty. I, I just, I would like to see more of this. I remember going to LAN parties with my buddies and there's there's this weird divide in the, mm. in the player base of like, we were, my, my friend and I, usually third place at these tournaments. But the second place and first place guys were so much better than us. It was like no competition. We okay. were able to like edge out the other players, but so it would have been better for you if it was a tournament like this, where no pros are allowed. Like, but what that's the thing. You're still gonna get some players who are just infinitely better. So is this like a ranking thing in game? Can you sort that out somehow? Yeah, like, maybe they gotta, yeah, make right? it, if you've got between this skill level and this skill level, I don't know how it works in Street Fighter, it's not yeah, a game that I play regularly. I do, regularly, I do so. want these themes to grow, of yeah. course, but the thing is, with Street Fighter and with anything FGC, that has always been ex extremely grassroots. Mm. Any tournament as well, like it comes from grassroots. So <sighs> it's good that they're cultivating more people and encouraging more people to come and play, mm. but you still need the pros there to get bank. You still need the pros there to get it's got to be exciting. You can't have a couple of exciting. total noobs just crouching in the corners, blocking the whole time. Yeah. Moving on to our last story, which I promise is not a joke. Oh. This is real okay. now. Uh, gaming peripheral company Razer is making a toaster. Okay. The toaster is black and green and will print the company's logo on your bread. <laughs> which will become toast. Okay. Strangely, this was originally announced as part of an April Fool's joke a few years back, but apparently fan reception was so overwhelmingly positive, they uh, ran with the idea <laughs> and made it real. Uh, people even got tattoos of the toaster to show their passion for it. Ooh. So now we have a Razer <laughs> toaster. Should other gaming peripheral companies expand beyond gaming products to make these little household appliances? What do you think, Marissa? Oh my god, what is wrong with you people? Like, straight up, what the F is wrong with you people? Why would you get a tattoo of a toaster on your body with the razor symbol? Like, what? Is the company people paying you? People get all kinds you? of stupid tattoos. No, this is on you forever. <laughs> this is on you forever. Yeah, Don't do this to yourself. No, no, no. I, I get it. Like, even our friend, friend of the show, Brock yeah. McLaughlin, just tattoos whatever on his body. Like, he's got a Harambe tattoo on his shoulder that he got obviously when Harambe was hot. Harambe's not hot anymore, okay? Like, rest know. in peace, Harambe. Harambe but, like, will always well, be you hot, need to, Marista. No, don't you don't need to have... Harambe's memory. No, that's what I'm saying. This, this is like hot right now. It's funny right now, but it's not gonna be funny forever. Why are you uh, guys doing this to yourselves? 
crazy? Oh Are my you god. Planning on getting Holy a golf smokes. blitz tattoo after this? Oh one? yeah, I'm really into golf blitz right now, you guys. I will not be getting a tattoo though because I know it's just hot for the moment. Like I'm into it for the moment. <laughs> right. I know better than that. You guys, we get over things. But we, this we is, get over things. Why have we derailed into tattoos? I'm that sorry, because you said that some people Okay, fine. AJ, will you be purchasing this toaster and no, will you I'm not enjoy a racer it? guy. I'm a Logitech guy. Logitech oh my god. Watching. Well, what? No. <laughs> so you're gonna, you'll get a Logitech toaster and then a Logitech tattoo? I don't know. Yes, sell I'd, out. I'd get like a Logitech, I don't know, shower head <laughs> or like, I don't know, if they had like a really cool... Things you can't thing. Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like a dishwasher or some Logitech laundry <laughs> that... Oh my god. This quickly drilled into like a dad's dream. Welcome dads everywhere. Tyler's really paying attention now. Laundry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Figure okay. out Logitech. Get your head in the game. If Razor's going to toasters, you gotta you gotta dodge and go a different direction. <laughs> oh my god. New Logitech <laughs> baby monitors. I don't know. There uh, probably is that. Maybe. There probably are all these things Logitech. These are just yeah. normal appliances. I think LG Gamify actually makes. Looking after your baby. Okay, this is not been sponsored by Logitech, gamers. but please, we've derailed from Razor to okay, LG. Okay. Moving just on. For AJ. Time to see what uh, streamers are up to in Clip It. Our first one comes to us from Greek, who came across a spicy video. Ooh. Decided to check it out while live on stream. Here's what happened. <laughs> What's this? What the f is this? You got to it. You, you mother. That's a yeah. new brick roll. J -j 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 -baited. I love that. I gotta find that video and use that for all my future rick rolls. I like I'm it better. sure I got rick rolled one time. Just once, Marissa. Just once. Wow. And it was like, but it was like so clickbait. I forget what the title was. Were you streaming um, while this it, happened? Or was this a private moment? No, I wasn't moment? streaming, unfortunately. But it was like just legs. It looked like just girls' legs, right? In the so I got totally clickbaited with the girls' legs, classic. Um, but like you click on it. And then it just starts panning up on the on the girl's legs, and then it's just a Barbie doll, and then the Rick Roll starts playing. Ah, that was good. That was really good. That's not as I, bad I as it. what I imagined could possibly have been there when you pan up oh, on what no. you assume to be a woman's legs. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping for something more. In a video, yet, anyway. I've got an active imagination. <laughs> <laughs> sure, AJ. Nope, I'm done. All right, this past weekend at the CW London, Luminosity Gaming won by decision in a controversial match against FaZe. And let's just say fans weren't happy, and neither was reciprocity player Tommy. Finally, what would you like to say to this crowd? I'd just like to say I've got one question and one question only. What do we think of LG? Yeah. What do we think of LG? Thank you. No. Okay, yeah, that was such a hype weekend of Call of Duty, but is the crowd's chance directed at the right people, do you think, or whose fault is it, speaking of LG, but this is Luminosity Gaming, so it was LG's fault or the officials? Because, listen, um, Tommy took to the crowd to chant, to chant the other team, okay? Yeah. Um, it's just like, it was kind of drums, there was an issue in-game, and then the, the people deciding the actual game decided to give it to LG when it wasn't LG. It wasn't LG's fault that this happened in game, okay? Mm -hmm. And it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't their fault, you guys. You're assaulting in the moon, it wasn't their fault. Like, just let them have the win, who cares, whatever. It's not even like they won. You feel? But they did in the score, ultimately, yeah. right? Okay, well, so they get the win. Yeah, all right. But I still, the crowd was, I feel like it was misdirected hate. That is so often the case when, you know, in the There's world chance. of gaming. Uh, yeah, the salt gets misdirected in certain circumstances. Mm. I think we gotta watch. I mean, like, chanting and audience involvement, it's great to see it in esports sure. now. It's, it. it's wonderful that we're getting so passionate and involved. Mm -hmm. Just There was also, like, salt being directed at Overwatch with a different chant oh. over the weekend as yes. well. I do wanna keep it to Call of Duty, though, just yes. a little bit, but I also wanna Bring us on in to the best time of day where we scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline this weekend. As we said, it was absolute fire in the world of esports. Both CSGO and Call of Duty Worlds were popping off. So much so that the crowd in London decided to salt on CS just a wee bit. CSGO! Okay, so CS 
CSGO caster Henry G saw this clip and he says, that's quite cute. Hmm. Mm, yeah, and Spongy replies, almost as cute as their joysticks. Oh, burn on the uh, Call of Duty crowd right there. I know. Yeah. It is a burn. Uh, but burn for good reason. Well, but I know you side with, I feel like you side with the PC world. Of course. Oh, okay. But what? except not in this instance because Counter Strike started it all. Because it was Did the they? CS crowd were chanting at Overwatch yeah. using some profanity, which I dare not repeat. Yes, and that's besmirch not. the good name of us here on Unmuted. <laughs> uh, so this yeah, is just do. things coming full circle. Yeah, they they start. Well, they do start it because if if we're being fair, Call of uh, CS:GO is the superior in many of our minds eSport. It is very good, very enchanting to watch, and it's been around for so long, and they have crowds everywhere, they have tournaments everywhere, they have fans everywhere. Like, they are very much deserving, very much deserving of a league the way Overwatch has it, of city-based teams the way Overwatch now has it. They're very much deserving of all of this. So when are they gonna get their acts together Overwatch. and start doing that? Yeah, see, that's, I mean, you're you're right. Blizzard took the right action here, and they've, yeah. and they've gone the right path. Unfortunately, Just, Valve is very hands-off with their Well, game. Valve should be more hands-on and get their act together and get things going and maybe add some elements to CSGO that make it even, you know, at a higher level of gameplay like Overwatch. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> this That's... next tweet is from League of Legends. I guess we can call him uh, a personality. Loco Doco, uh, or Loco Daco, uh, with yeah. something decent to tweet for once. <laughs> Esports is such a fad, and then we see a whole bunch of esports paraphernalia there. Yeah, esports merch at a sports apparel store. That's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Uh, to see that, it's just strange to see Renegades with so much shelf space. Like Renegades over other east, like Phase isn't there. Right. Um, so yeah, Optic there. Optic Cloud Nine was there. Yeah. Um, just weird to see Renegade. Renegades had like a whole shelf to itself. I mean, like good for them. That's amazing. Mm. But it's nice to see that there's there's a little room now. They're they're pushing their way in. I'm I'm right? worried for folks like wearing this stuff, going to sports bars, just knowing like the the mentality of your traditional sports fans at times when they Why? see like the new kids on the block, you know. Oh sure. Drinking but, after their games and instigating. But a lot of people playing like into sports only really know other sports teams, right? They they'll see. Uh, Jersey like Renegades or like Cloud9 and just not know what the F it is. So, yeah. like, there, there may be nothing said. They might just think it's their, like, soccer team or something. Yeah, right? Maybe. They'll just make assumptions. They won't they won't salt on them just yet. Not until esports officially takes over. But it's, it's only coming. a couple of years away, right? Like, it's coming, everybody. Yeah. Strap in. Our last profound thought comes from King Baby on Instagram. He'd like y'all to tag a friend who needs these. Ooh. Yikes, I'd like to tag Baby Bay for letting that thumbnail go a little <laughs> long before posting that photo featuring his hands, Baby Bay. You know how I feel about that. Men, manicure yourselves, honestly. Cut them nails short, I don't wanna see that. That's me ranting on That's that. fine. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what to say about <laughs> condoms for small. Penises? Yeah. yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't what, comment? Yeah, especially because this is like the end of uh, this <laughs> segment. Yeah. So I don't know what to move on <laughs> with. Maybe you can just pick up and throw. Marissa, okay, he really point. doesn't want to comment on micro peepees. That's okay. Let's move on because it's time to get into crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great things the community has been sharing. Now, Mortal Kombat is known for its overdramatic violence, but just how far from reality is it? I did a thing on YouTube, tried to find out whether Scorpion's chains actually had the ability to cut through flesh. This is a bad idea. And now it's nice and hot. Let's see what a 1,000 degree chain does to a pork roast. Fight. A little juicy, slow one. And look at that. The chain did manage to easily cut through the meat. How am I both <laughs> hungry and grossed out at once? That was so gross. That was effing disgusting. Um, okay, first of all, because pork meat, can I say pork meat is like very much like human flesh? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's gross. That's like almost turned me off of pork almost, but I still like my prosciutto, do you feel? Yeah, I, I get you. Yeah, okay, but. so <laughs> I w like, what is your experience with Mortal Kombat? You've been loving it. Oh, I, I mean, a Mortal Kombat fan for life, for sure. One of my uh, earliest introductions into uh, gaming. Yeah, absolutely. 
<laughs> this new game is crazy, gory, and everything. I know, but so many people are having issues, taking issue, because the women aren't as sexy as the other Mortal Kombat games. They're not wearing, you know, less clothing. They should be wearing less clothing, especially Scarlet. She has too many clothes on. Right. Has been the consensus. It impedes her abilities to do all the combos and everything, wearing <laughs> yeah. those clothes. <laughs> Just Scarlet getting in the does. way. They want more titty. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Well, it's time for a woke comic of the day made by Martin Rosner. Let's have a quick look. Gamers, rise up! Uh, what are we mad about? Politics and gaming. Game difficulty. We're going to demand better and more secure working conditions for game developers. Aww. And it's gone. Oh. As the crowd does not support this. And this is something that obviously we need to get behind more. If we're going to be upset about ethics and gaming journalism, we yeah. need to be protecting our game developers. It's not just the people at the top of the company. It's all the grunts who put in the hours making the maps, know. you know, adding the textures, yes. developing the skins, yes. and all the in-game art and I sound know. effects. There's so many people who work behind the scenes, especially at our AAA companies. Oh my gosh, And they completely. do these terrible um, crunch weeks mm -hmm. just to get things out there for us to enjoy. And they, yeah. they need to be protected protected and give an opportunity to you know have a good work life balance. So. I I completely agree with you. It's just so crazy to me cuz I feel like you and I've been covering video games for a long time. We've yeah. known about this crunch for a long time and it's always yeah. been something that we've accepted as journalists covering this stuff. We accept yeah. that this is the life that they like, have to live when games come out. And I think that they've there's an, a level of acceptance there too with them. And a bit of bravado yeah. from game developers sometimes when it's like yeah, like we pulled some really crazy nights we really, you know, yeah. went hard and delivered it and now the fans love it. Yeah. Yeah. Which, like, cool, man. If you're a young kid in your 20s and you're just fresh out of, you know, college or university mm -hmm. and that, that's the way you want to do your life, you know, be proud of that, yeah. that effort, great. But, you know, when you're getting to... Yeah, when you get, when you get, no, we don't need to talk about age, age right? okay? We don't need to discuss that publicly oh, no, at all. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, somebody DM me this weekend and is like, is it cool if I ask your age? And I literally just, just responded, no. Yeah. And get out of my DMs. My DMs are open for business, people. I mean, business. I'm, Not for you to ask me stupid questions. I'm, All right. I'm 55. I don't mind putting that out there. You? What did you say? I'm did 50, you say you're 85? I'm, I'm 55. I'm 50. 50 years old. Okay, yeah. age is 85. I'm the younger one in this relationship. <laughs> Time to wrap it up with our last crowd control post. There are a lot of wacky games out there. And I mean a lot. But have you heard of the arcade favorite based on table flipping? What? <laughs> I love that. I feel like that's very, you know, of our time. Yeah. Because even in Twitch chat, it's like the table flip yeah. uh, emote. You can spam some of those right now if you'd like. Uh, Please do. Please do. I gotta yeah, no, go to Japan for these things. There's just so many fun arcade game experiences that you can't have over here because they always come out there first. So what would you make? Like, what would be a game that you would create that hasn't been made yet, but is very catered to AJ's taste? Ooh, I don't know, like scotch drinking or... I think that well, because there's that VR game where you get to be a bartender, and I definitely enjoyed that. That was mm, fun. But mm. no, actually drinking. Yeah. Okay. But, but like in a bar. It, you, the problem with that, though, is the experience would be over very quickly, and you wouldn't remember much of it. That's afterwards. real. <laughs> yeah. Or like when it teaches you things. Like we can become psalms. Like we become sommeliers, and it teaches you things about different wines. No, is that getting too refined? Educational games? Yeah, but like in a bar about alcohol. That's it for Unmuted. Remember that you can always hit us up on our socials or to just say hi or send us stuff to react to. Someone type exclamation mark in socials. Uh, exclamation mark socials right now in chat. That's it. See you in the future.